Hey guys, so uh, just did some shopping and also got something in the mail, so I'll uh, show you what I got. Uh, so I got two more uh, Hallmark ornaments. So first off, I got Mandalorian. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a Baby Yoda ornament. I just haven't seen it yet. Then I also got, uh, for some reason, one of my favorite video game characters. I got Yoshi. I always thought Yoshi was fun and cute. Uh, and then I picked up a uh, DVD. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen this movie. Honestly, I can't really remember if I uh, enjoyed it. But, uh, yeah, it is one that I've been uh, meaning to rewatch. And that is uh, Jingle All the Way with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and... Uh, Jacob Lloyd, who was uh, Anakin Skywalker in The Phantom Menace. Uh, yeah, a lot of people didn't really like him as Anakin Skywalker. I think as far as kid actors goes, he did a good enough job in it. But uh, honestly, I think it would have been better if they got like somebody older. You know, had him, like the age of the actual character, be older too. And then just keep the same character or the same actor in every movie. I think that would have been better. And just, you know, in general, a better actor. Uh, yeah, uh, this movie is about uh, this kid. There's a action figure that he really wants that's hard to get. So his dad, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, goes through crazy lengths to get it. And... Uh, in the climax of the movie, spoiler alert for those who haven't seen it, he actually, like, wears the costume and, like, fights his rival. He's wearing the enemy costume, and it's pretty funny. Uh, and then I got a uh, order from Shirt Punch, so... Let's get this one open. So, for those of you who don't know, one of my favorite books of all time is Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And pretty much any time I see a shirt for it, uh, it's almost guaranteed that I will purchase it. So, here we go. I actually do have a shirt that's pretty similar to this one, but it's different. You know, different uh, topography, different pictures and such. But, I mean, the basic concept of it's the same. But I don't care. I just really dig it but yeah it's the uh when uh all of a sudden a uh whale appeared and you know all the thoughts that he had you know giving the name to ground before he fell on it and died pretty morbidly funny so yeah uh i'm still dealing with my sickness uh, i forced myself to go to work yesterday I've used up all my sick time already, so that kind of sucks. So I'm just kind of forced myself to go to work. Uh, and it looks like we have another hurricane or tropical storm heading this way. Uh, hurricane Eta, I think it was called. Uh, now that we're in the Greek alphabet, a lot of them sound kind of similar. Because uh, I think there's like Theta and Zeta, and now we're at Eta or Eta or whatever. Uh, but yeah, uh, hurricane uh, forecasts haven't been really the most accurate, I've noticed, because it either goes to a different place and or it hits at a different strength. Uh, I think originally it was uh, forecast to uh, plow through Mexico at a uh, Category 4 and then die out, which I think it did do that, but... Instead of dying out, it went back into the water, uh, and then it was forecast to uh, just kind of rush against Florida and die out about 100 miles off the coast from where I live. Now it's uh, forecast to uh, be plowing straight through Florida and as a tropical storm. It'll go through my area the on the left side, so that's fine. Uh, Hurricane season has been pretty ridiculous this year. So I'm kind of ready for that to be over with. So I'm making some smothered chicken. This is very similar to a uh, pork chop recipe that I make, but this time it's a uh, 
sort of a chicken version of it. Uh, so here's what I'm going to be using to coat my chicken. It's uh, two tablespoons of flour, a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of paprika, quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and uh, salt and pepper. And uh, once I'm done cutting my chicken with this, uh, whatever remains I'm going to just set aside so I can uh, use to make the gravy. Alright, so now that they're all coated, uh, I got a uh, tablespoon of canola oil heating up on uh, medium-high heat. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to let them uh, uh, sit in that for uh, about one to two minutes per side. Uh, I'm using five uh, chicken legs, so I'm going to treat it as having four sides, so yeah, I'll just give it like a little quarter turn for every minute or so. Alright, so I've removed the chicken, now I'm cooking uh, two sliced onions on medium for about six minutes. Now I've added a, a teaspoon of minced garlic, I'm going to let that cook for an additional minute. Now I've added the uh, remaining of the flour, so I'm just going to stir it to get it nice and coated. Now I've added a, a cup of chicken stock and I'm just going to get to boil, which is pretty much already added, and let it simmer. Alright, so I've put the chicken back in the skillet. Uh, I've also added some thyme and a bay leaf. I'm going to put this in the oven for 350 for 30 minutes. And there's the finished product. Hey guys, so uh, happy Friday the 13th. Uh, tail all over my mouth, Thomas. Uh, I don't really have any Jason-related activities today. Uh, I mean, I watched a few Friday the 13th movies a few days ago because I was just in the mood for it, but now I'm just not really in the Friday the 13th movie mood right now, you know? It's kind of funny how those type of things happen, but I do have a haul for you today. Uh, so I did recently go grocery shopping and picked up another Hallmark ornament of the Ghostbusters logo. This one's all nice and glittery. <laughs> you just love getting attention, don't you, Thomas? So sweet, Thomas. And, uh... I also got a, uh, another order in from uh, Culture Girl Flair, so let's get this one open. What, Thomas? So, looks like we just got a pen and no extras this time, but this one is, uh, had me on a dollar. I really like the way all the light shines on this, so let's get it out of the plastic so you can see it a little bit better. So, still a little bit of a glare to it, but I mean, still, I mean, kind of like how the Call it way changes a little bit depending on how the lights shining on so that looks really cool and this one is uh based on the clone wars uh i actually thought padme was a pretty underrated character even in the uh movies even in the movies i thought she was a underrated character but yeah they fleshed out her character even more in the Clone Wars, so that was pretty cool. So that's all that I have for today. Uh, I'm still recovering from my sickness a little bit, uh, mostly over it. Uh, because it's the weekend and I didn't want to like spend the whole day just sleeping in, I uh, took some day quill instead of night quill before I went to bed this morning. Uh, yeah, yesterday I slept for like 10 hours straight the influence of NyQuil. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned for my future tattoo because I actually have pretty bad back acne and right now uh, so I'm just kind of spreading onto my arm here. I'm wanting to get the tattoo uh, so hopefully that'll clear up in time. Uh, if not, uh, I think I'm going to see if uh, 
I can uh, get the uh, Mudhorn Mandalorian Clamp 2 Signet right here instead, but we'll see. Uh, is wanting so much attention right now, aren't you, Thomas? But yeah, I should have another clip for tomorrow, and that will uh, end my uh, vlog for this week. Hey guys, so this will probably be my last clip for uh, this week's vlog. I got a order from Punch It Chicken Press, so yeah, here's the stamps they put on my envelope this time. I have to look through my collection to see. Uh, if these are new ones, I think these are at least mostly new ones, but I have to look through them all. So, uh, yeah, about a week ago, they're doing a uh, big Mandalorian drop. I was uh, planning on getting a, a couple pins from it, but then they uh, surprised us all and simultaneously dropped a bunch of uh, Knights of the Old Republic pins, and uh, I like the uh, uh, Mandalorian pins, but I was a lot more excited for the Knights of the Old Republic pin, so uh, I decided to just kind of sit out on the Mandalorian pins for now. Ordered a bunch of uh, Knights of the Old Republic pins, but they also had some uh, uh, mystery B grade packs, mystery packs available again. So ordered one of those two. Uh, I actually did that on a separate order, but there was like a error in their store, so they. Uh, gave out free shipping codes, so I think they shipped them together, but we'll see. I might be getting a separate order, but I think they shipped them together. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm kind of hoping the uh, mystery B grades will be some Mandalorian pins, but who knows? Uh, it is, of course, a mystery. I've ordered two mystery B grade packs from them before. I like ordering mystery B grade packs from them just because and they're prominently Star Wars pins. They have a lot of cool pins, but you know, it's kind of feel like a lot to really uh, be dedicated to them and get everything because they tend to drop a lot of pins at once. And I do see the Mystery B gray pack is several of yet. First one I got, uh, it was mostly pins that honestly I felt like weren't maybe necessarily their best pins out there. They're decent, but not the most exciting. The second one I got, or some better pens, unfortunately, there were mostly pens I already had, so hopefully this one will be, you know, pens that I don't already have. Uh, looks like I have a, uh, something else that's wrapped up in paper. I don't know if that's a separate pen, but I'll open that before I open my Mystery B gray pen, but I'll save that for next to last. So first up, we have uh, Bastila Sean from Knights of the Old Republic. I know there is a uh, Chase variant of this, the dark side variant, but honestly, I like the normal version better, so I'm glad I got that, but yeah. Basil is cool. Uh, I was happy to see that Ray got a yellow lightsaber at the end of uh, uh, Rise of Skywalker. I was, for some reason, felt like yellow was a good color for her, but I was kind of anticipating she'd get a double blade lightsaber like Basil for some reason, but... It's cool either way. Uh, next up, uh, got their business card force. Uh, and uh, we have uh, Mandalore. Details aren't really showing up that great on camera, but it is still a cool pen. Uh, like the ancient Mandalorian armor that he has. So. It's really cool in that weird axe weapon. Let's see, and it feels like we got one more pen. Okay, so yeah, there was a uh, one older Mandalorian pen that ordered from them that I was just really digging. We got the armor with her forge ignited. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I think the uh, pen that's wrapped up in paper was a uh, larger pen that I did order, so this won't be a mystery. Uh, it's not some bonus surprise or anything, but yeah, this is a big pen. I believe it's like 3.5 inches or 3 inches or something like that, but yeah, we got a 
Raven, Malik, and Starforge all together in one big pen. So that's pretty epic. So now to my mystery B grade. So yeah, I'm hoping it'll be pens I didn't uh, just get. Uh, I think they mostly put in newer pens in these, but I think they sometimes will sneak in some of their older pens that they still have in stock. So like I said, I'm hoping it'll be uh, Mandalorian pens and not Knights of the Old Republic. Or if it is Knights of the Old Republic ones that I didn't order. So first off, okay, I'm down with that. We got a TIE Fighter. Actually, it's upside down, but not really what I was expecting, but hey, I'm down with the TIE Fighters. Uh, and, uh, oh, got our first double of uh, Bastila. And lastly, uh, crap, forgot the name of this character, but uh, Ugnot character I always say is uh I've spoken she's writing one of his blurs so that's pretty cool there's some decent uh B grade pens that I got I got to kind of look over them to notice what flaws or defects so yeah I see some uh scuffing on the little blaster effect down there on that one uh, this pen actually looks pretty clean to me so I don't really know what's wrong with this one but hey I got it at a discount price uh, this one since I do have the uh, one that passed their grading inspection but that I guess I can compare it um, Strangely, I kind of feel like the one that I got that passed their inspection actually kind of looks worse than this one, to be honest, because I'm not really noticing anything that stands out to me on the B gray, but on this one, I do kind of notice a little speck in Basil's hair that's probably not going to pick up on camera, but honestly, I'm not overly picky about that kind of stuff. I kind of feel like, you know, some minor defects like that kind of adds character, depends, uh, Though I do kind of like to get them in decent condition to start with and, you know, kind of let them get their own natural wear and tear, if that makes sense. Uh, but, yeah, uh, so that's all that I got from uh, Punch It Chewy Press. So, like I said, I don't really have anything exciting that's vlog-worthy for today. But I will see you guys later either way.